So if you're one of the people that are consistently saying or thinking, oh, the MMRPG genre is so stale. Why is there never anything new? Or why can't somebody try something different? Well, you should be looking at Mortal Online 2 because this is a game that, for better or for worse, is extremely different. It's extremely unique as an experience, even among other sandbox MMRPGs because Mortal Online, at least the original one, had such freedom that... It was like a sandbox on steroids. You really could play and do pretty much anything you wanted in the game. They just had crazy deep systems. The crafting in this game is is the best crafting you will ever experience in an MMORPG. It's just ridiculously deep. Um, there's mysteries in Mortal Online 1 that's been out for a decade now, over a decade, that have still not been discovered because they just put stuff in the game. And if you find them, cool. And if you don't, well, unfortunately, that's the way that it is. And people cover and protect information because they don't want you to know how to make the best sword in the game because they do and that's where they make their money they're famous for being the swordsmith you know the best one the bowyer um stuff like that is is something that can only happen in a game that has consequence that has risk and you should definitely be looking at mortal online 2 so the news here is mortal online 2 is doing a free um stress test on the 25th of March. So anyone can sign up for a key. They're trying to break a world record and get as many people online in a single persistent open world as possible. So this is definitely something you should be looking at. And let's go over the details real quick. So overview, starting March 25th, players around the globe will be given a chance to explore the world of Nave for free. The time has come to make your mark, say goodbye to unlimited resources, skill points and no punishment. Level your character, acquire wealth and resource, make a name for yourself as a famous crafter, warrior, hero, villain, tamer, or whatever your heart desires. We're giving everyone a bite-sized taste of what the game is really about. Additionally, we will be hosting a number of epic competitions with a chance to earn huge prizes. Make sure to sign up for a key to win big and join us as we set a world record. With your help, we'll break the record for most players online simultaneously in a single uninstant server let's make history together so the purpose of the test is to push the hardware limits test progression systems and receive large amounts of valuable feedback from the community to summarize this month's stress test will act as an initial simulation for our upcoming persistent early access if you'd like to learn more about what to expect during the stress test please continue reading below the competitions and prizes not going to go into that if you're interested in this stuff um definitely check this out in terms of persistence, as mentioned before, our stress test will act as a persistent early access simulation. Players will no longer have access to unlimited resources, character bound gear, or unlimited skill points. The time has come for players to take their place in the world. Testers will begin their journey on our tutorial island known as Haven. Within Haven, players will have the opportunity to learn and understand the game's systems and features in a safe environment. So no full loop PvP here, no PvP in general. Upon your departure from Haven, you may select from a few starting cities where your real journey will begin. From there, it's completely up to you what happens. Make a living as a crafter, become a murderous criminal, tame and sell creatures, the possibilities are endless. During the upcoming test phases, all experience gains have been drastically increased to remove the grind. Players will have the freedom to explore builds and create new characters without a long-term commitment. And please note, this is still a beta, basically there's going to be wipes. So they're talking about a complete world. They have most of their world built now, the initial one, Nave, which is the same as Mort Online 1, just remade completely. So they've been rebuilt, they've been building, detailing the continent of Merland for over a year now. Players joining the stress test will have complete freedom to explore the continent and visit its 10 stunning cities. Tindrum, Meduli, Fabenum, Varda, Bakti, Mokti, Morincor, Golcor, Kranesh, and Toxai. Traversing Merland will be no simple task. Players will need to gain skills, arm themselves, and group up with like-minded individuals to aid them on their journey. The world is filled with dangerous beasts, bandits, and monsters. It's up to you as the player to explore the world and unveil its many secrets. The team at Star Vault has never believed in spoon-feeding the game's secrets to the community. Even today, there are still undiscovered mysteries in our first iteration of Mortal Online. So Mortal Online, guys, is a game I've played thousands of hours of. And like I said before, for better or for worse, it's a unique experience. It's something that if you've never played a game like Mortal, you won't have any idea what to expect. And it is a really brutal game. You will just have players that make it their mission to fuck with you, make it their mission to kill you repeatedly, to take as much as you, of your stuff as possible. But then you'll also have other people that are blue guilds that are specifically there to protect players uh, in the blue cities and that will fight together or fight against the, the red players. And then also there's all the player politics and the guild politics and the history and people like 
have real rivalries with each other that span a decade because they take it that seriously. It's just a really immersive experience as a game, more so because you're constantly on edge, like, oh, risk versus reward. If I go do this in this area, I know this guild controls it, and if they catch me, they're going to kill me. There might be repercussions for my guild. Um, if I if I try to be a crafter, I'm going to have to focus on one specific area of crafting for a while because if not, I'm going to make bad wares. People aren't going to share with me how to make good bows because it's such a wide range of materials in the game that you can use and you use different percentages of different materials for different areas of each craft. So people find out like how to make good stuff and then people can only ever learn from having somebody practice with them like oh i'm making swords i need somebody who's good with swords so i give them the swords is this good how's the durability on it um how's the the weapon damage how's the weight of it all things like this matter it's it's a game all about freedom and in the mmorpg genre nowadays we're like the polar opposite of what this game is so that's why you should definitely try this game out if you've never experienced it before again it's not going to be for everyone what i will say though is going with an open mind it's definitely hard for some people to accept loss in games but loss is is a necessary mechanic to make you or at least for me i'll talk about myself to make me immersed in a game because then i have investment like emotional investment into what i'm doing um, you're just constantly more aware. You have to pay attention to the game and you have to really play the game. It's not World of Warcraft. You can't like put a podcast on your second monitor and sit and you know hardly play the game, just AFK pilot things. You can't sit and watch your favorite animes. Um, you have to really be involved in it and you have to really pay attention because sound cues, hearing somebody sneak up on you, noticing somebody out of the corner of your eye like coming towards you or um, seeing mounts on the horizon... These are things you have to constantly be aware of and it just really makes the game engaging to be honest so it's something i i recommend everyone to try again go in with an open mind and just understand most loss in games like this are not a very big deal like at most you'll be losing like uh a gear set which could take you know you could have a bad gear set on that only takes you 20 minutes to farm the money for or you could have a good gear set on that takes you um a day to farm the gold for it's all about choosing what you're risking what the reward's going to be from what you're doing and that consequence does lead to some fun actual like instead of using buzzwords and not meaning it emergent social dynamic gameplay that's what these sandboxes are all about so if you are interested in mortal online check the website out the roadmap has a bunch of good information and yeah definitely sign up for this to get the the key and then start playing on on the 25th of march so i'll see you guys there i'll probably be streaming it which is a very bad idea in an open world full loot game but you know fuck it whatever check my socials in the video description hopefully you're having a good day stay safe out there we out peace